In this next lesson, we're going to be talking about a number of things regarding transforming images. And first and foremost, I'm going to show you how to scale and rotate an object, um, just as the one that we see correct right in front of us. Well, as you'll note, uh, this is doom.tiff. Uh, if you're looking for an image to use, you can find this one in the Photoshop samples folder on your C drive or your Mac hard drive if you're working on a Mac. And what I'm going to be doing here is to say File New and just create a standard web object as we see here. And I'm going to drag using my black arrow, the Move tool, that's V on your keyboard shortcut. Um, I'm going to move it into View so or into the new canvas. You'll notice I could just drag it in like that. However, as you can see, it's a little um, cut off. So if I were to undo that, here's a little trick. If you hold, um, if you hold down Shift when you do that, you'll notice that it's always going to be located in the center of the document that you've just grabbed. So as we drag it into this new document, you'll notice that I'm only at 66% here. Um, but this object is placed directly into the canvas. So I don't really need the original one, so I'm just going to shut that down for a second. And what I'm going to show you here is something that's located under the Edit tool. Um, there are a number of transform commands that we can see. And as you can see, there's a number of them that say scale, or rotate, or skew, or distort, or perspective, warp. Many of these we'll be talking about in just a second. Here, if you were to say scale, you'll notice the first thing that happens is um, these squares appear around my document, and those are the transformation uh, bounds. And if you'll notice, I can scale an object just by dragging this in. Notice, however, that if you do that, your object can become distorted, almost looking like it's come from a funhouse mirror, too skinny or too fat. Um, however, a, an important shortcut for transforming is the Shift key, and that constrains the proportions of your document as you are transforming it. At this point, if we're happy with that, I can apply the transformation simply by double-clicking inside of the object here or by clicking anywhere on the toolbar and saying, do you want to apply the transformation? You say yes or no or cancel and do another bit of transforming. Anyways, if you're happy with that, we'll say apply. Notice another way of getting the transform out or those transforming bounds is to use this shortcut here for the free transform tool, Control T. So if I were to press Control T or on your Macintosh, Command T or Apple T, um, you'll see that we have those same elements in place. Um, at this point, I'll show you that if you wanted to rotate something, just moving your cursor out here, see how it changes the view of the cursor? See, here I could drag it out, but as it goes here, I've got sort of the semicircle effect. That allows you to create rotation, just as you can see there. Notice, I could also determine the rotation by moving what's centered here, which is called the registration point. If I were to, for example, position it right here, now my rotation looks very different than what I had in just a second ago. So that's another way of creating rotation. Also, take note that anytime you use the transformation tools or free transform control T, you'll notice that the transform options appear right at the top. And these options determine, for example, the registration point. It also allows you to move the object's X and Y position, and you can slide that as well, just as I'm doing here. Um, same thing with the Y. Notice, however, there's width and height in terms of scaling, and if you want to constrain the proportions, remember what I told you about holding down Shift, you can just click here, and notice I can make this bigger or smaller, and I could do that numerically too by highlighting this area and saying specific percentage amount. And we'll get into some of the other things, but here's the rotation, by the way, and that can allow you to work in this fashion too. So that shows you a little bit about the transformation tools, the free transform tool, and how to use scale and rotate.